Hey everybody, it's Chris and Sharon. Hi everybody. Today we're at Red Lead and we're going to show you how to make these great hostess gifts. Okay Chris, what are we using to make these great hostess gifts? What we're using is we're going to use our perfume bottles. Okay. And I've put images underneath and stamped and attached them to these fun mason jars. Okay, that's very cool. So I see that you're also using our uh, Victorian frames and... Fancy frames. Fancy frames. Yeah. And of course our rubber stamping. And I love the mason jars because you see you can personalize them. Okay. This one is jelly beans. Okay, that's cool. And My so what about loves. this one? This one's for Elise, I know. Candles. Candles. She loves those. Little votives that have really great smell. Okay, so what's in this one? Hershey's Kisses. Oh, that's cool. And I got to show you this. Yeah. Ah, that's for the person who does not want to make anything. They just go to the grocery. <laughs> exactly. I love that. That's cool. So what I thought would be good is if I show you how to do okay, the I'm gonna, perfume bottles. I'm going to come over here for just a second and okay. show everyone the perfume bottles that have the blue film on them. And also when you peel the film, how they are clear, perfectly crystal clear. Right. Okay. So you're going to show them how to do it. Yeah. Okay. All you do is you want to remove both of the liners. Okay, and the blue film is on there as a protective, is that right? Yeah, yeah. And I usually just take my fingernail and pick it up for a second and pull okay. it right off, okay? okay? that's cool. And they are really pretty strong. It's not like these are going to scratch a lot at all. They don't really scratch, which okay. is a good thing. I think, okay, I know so, they're American-made, aren't they? Oh, yeah, of course. Okay. Okay, so now here's the thing. Everyone always asks, what do you use to glue them down with? And they're always really surprised when we always say a Yoohoo glue stick. But we use that for a lot of things. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so you want to show them what to do? Yeah. And I also wanted to mention that over here, yeah, we have collage sheets that we've made that match exactly the perfume bottles. Right. Okay? Yeah, yeah, that's clear. So it makes it really simple. You cut out your image. Yeah. Okay. And then you take your Yoohoo glue stick. Okay. And you just go around the sides, just like about of a quarter of okay, an inch. Okay, I'm gonna back up here. Okay. Is that better? Yeah. Okay, you don't so, want to put a bunch of the glue in the middle because okay, it might and show. Okay, so then that becomes permanent. Is that right? Uh huh. That's so then cool. you, of course, go on the back side with it. Yeah, turn that this way. Here okay. Go. Yeah, and turn it a little bit. There you go. And then you can move this around. I gotta reposition it a little bit. You know, that's the one thing too that everyone doesn't know about the Yoohoo glue is you can reposition it. It's not like once you set something on there, it's done. Right, because that was a little bit off, just a tad. Yeah. Okay, and then I'm burnishing it down. Right. To set it a little more just with, with your my fingers. fingers. Okay. Okay, and typically I would let this sit for five or ten minutes. Okay. And then I would come back yeah. and do the overhang to remove it. With okay, and then there's another little tip that a lot of people don't board. know, emery boards, but I gotta tell you what, I always use Revlon. Yeah, I do too. Because those cheap ones don't work very well. Right, but a lot of times they're out of the Revlon, so you gotta get the cheapies, but yeah. they both work, but the Revlon better. Okay, so then here's another really good thing I've discovered is you can cut your emery boards. Yeah. I think it's clever. See how you can get in those little spots much easier? Yeah, right. Hey, so turn that over, will you? Okay. And so then, there. Yeah, and then hold it up so people can just see how keep cool going. it is. Okay, and then so once you get to that point, then you can do the frames or you can do more clear bits or you can rubber stamp or you can do a lot of different things. And add uh, your embellishments, yeah. Yeah, you can do the embellishment thing. Okay, so what else we got? Oh, okay. What else we have is yeah. you can attach your perfume bottle next. Right. Oh, so you're going to actually show everybody what to do here. Well, I'm not going to do it, but I'm just saying then you attach it, and we used one of these jumbo jump rings okay, with cool. a safety pen. Okay, so, oh, you know what? Here's the thing, too, people need to know, that the perfume bottles, you can purchase them either with a hole or without a hole. Oh, that's true. So, okay. of course, if you want to attach them, they need to have the hole, but if you don't, if you want to just make some perfume bottles and put them on a tag, then maybe you don't want them with a the hole. Is that correct? Right, yeah. Okay, so what else we got? Really? This is the handmade gift. Okay, that's very cool. Love it, and hopefully you'll find some time to make one for somebody for a birthday or a hostess gift. Okay. Because everybody loves them. Okay, sounds great. See you guys next time. Bye. Bye.